Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Revolutionary Mod. So, as I said, I was gonna have some extra battles done in this mod while I was still... while I still had it installed, and one of the first things I thought of was doing a battle against the Cherokee, because that crashed on the campaign map. So I have devised a uh, battle on the only custom map that is available in this mod. I was actually hoping there would be uh, a few others. You probably recognize this one as it's featured in the American Civil War one as well and I think a few others. Um, anyways, let's go over what troops I've selected. So what we're looking at right now is the American General which is, I mean, the they all look kind of like this but uh, it also looks like the George Washington model when you actually play that campaign, so I guess we'll say that this is George Washington. And he has s assembled an army. Also, one thing that we didn't actually use in the campaign, I was never actually able to put them in a battle, um, was the colored infantry. So we have the 6th sixth, sixth Connecticut, two of those uh, right there. Uh, we've got a uh, Minutemen unit, so Culpers Minutemen over there. And then in this column we start off with Continental Connecticut. And then we go on to Continental Infantry. And then another Continental Line. So pretty generic for, the li for these lines here. Um, and then I didn't want to bring in tons of cannons to smash the natives with. So I only brought in two of these three-pounder horse artillery. Uh, but this is of course... Oh yeah, I forgot about the cavalry. Um, we also have the Philadelphia Light Cavalry. And as we're crossing a river, I think it's actually better. We're gonna put them over there. Um, no, it doesn't actually matter. Because they're gonna go like that. I thought maybe the crossing was closer. Um, but then we have a second force which is entirely comprised of French units under the command of General Lafayette right over here. Um, looks like he's had pox or something because his face is all potted up. Um, but the, here we've got the French. So here's the French general. Over there is the second three-pounder artillery. And then we have four line infantry units and one French cavalry unit, and we'll start off with the cavalry. So we've got one here, it's Marine Hussars, which I think is maybe a bit strange, Marine Hussars, De La, De La Marine Hussars, so I guess we've got Marine Hussars. Anyways, then we've got two units of a regiment, the Bourbon, Bourbon, I imagine it is of the, the royal family then, the Bourbons. Um, probably not 100% on the pronunciation, but there we go. So we've got two of those. And then here in the back we've got La Sun's regiment. And we've got the Royal Dompont Grenadier Regiment. Dompont. Regiment Grenadiers. Um, not entirely sure their pronunciation either. Anyways, that's the French and they're crossing over here, the Americans crossing over here, and somewhere in between here, we've got a load of Cherokee that needs dying. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Uh, so, it looks like the Cherokee, or at least the cavalry, is there's a lot of them over here. I wonder if there is a point in trying to force my way across. We'll start marching towards the river crossing anyways. We'll actually keep the cavalry on our side of the river to start off with, just to see if we're actually able to get across. So the American force is moving to the crossing point. And at the same time, Lafayette is sending his hussars forward to scout ahead. He's gonna come. Hopefully, he actually will be able to take part in the battle. 
Um, because right now it kind of looks as though the Cherokee are quite far away. The thing is, if the Americans hold them at the other river crossing, then uh, the French should be able to make it in time. I imagine the, the uh, right now the Cherokee are moving their cavalry pretty quickly. Um, kind of charging them forward. We can see some of their um, some of their infantry. The multiplayer units are a bit uh, are a bit more diverse in their selection of troops than the uh, the um, than the um, the campaign AI. Right, I don't think there's going to be much of an idea to try and force our way through there. But I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to move my cavalry over just just for the fact that I want to stop their cavalry. So we've come to... Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to put these two along the river next to the cannons. Culper's Minutemen, oh, we're definitely going to put them over here. Tell everyone to hold fire. We've got the Connecticut Infantry. They will actually be the ones holding the river. The 6th uh, Connecticut will move across. And then we have the um, uh, Pennsylvania or, or another basically random or generic continental troops will take place behind here. George Washington is taking position. Oh, there's a lot of uh, Cherokee now. And what we want to do is as quickly as possible just run the French troops over here. Because otherwise they won't be able to take part in the battle. I'm going to charge down these Lancers. Is the first thing we're going to do. Pretty looks, I'm pretty confident with my position. This is early war stuff as well. Okay, they're charging across. The sixth is not going to be able to cross. So kind of the first strike here. I was hoping my cavalry would be able to stop the native cavalry. Maybe I shouldn't have given them so much cavalry. They charge in to the Connecticut infantry. And uh, they're kind of routing. My cavalry is uh, kind of routing under the pressure of the Cherokee lancers. At least it's holding the lancers away. They're going to send in another Cherokee lancer. The Connecticut it is holding for now. But I'm not entirely sure for how long. Okay, the cannon is now unlimbered. It's in a bit of a bad spot just right now, how it's located right. We can see over here. Cherokee tribesmen. The French are going to have to move back a little bit just so they don't run into the enemy. We're going to have these set to canister. The Minutemen. George Washington, please stop firing. Right. Culper. Oh, these guys are completely almost overrun now by enemy cavalry. I'm going to order the colored infantry to open fire. Um, could be a risk of friendly fire here, but we need to see these um, these lancers away. These guys will form square and also fix bayonets. Okay, more and more of these Cherokee are arriving. I'm going to target this area with canister now. The um, Minutemen are going to pull s just slightly back. And then 
got Bowman over there. I want the French to take part in the battle. But it seems like the e the enemy is just marching straight into us. The canister is flying. We're gonna try and hold them. I'm gonna order one of the colored infantry to fix bayonets and charge in to stop the enemy coming across. I'm gonna hold in them there. And hopefully the French will turn up in time to join us. Kind of a kind of mayhem there right now. Right, I want the French to hurry as fast as possible. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hussars up onto the hill there and attack the enemy from over there. We're going to take the three pounders, the French one, and there's no good positions, but there's a slight hill here. Not really a hill, but. A slight height that we can put the cannons on. Um, they're, they're tired, but it's time, I think. No, we're gonna continue in, in column for a little bit longer. Lafayette is gonna move next to the cannons. More and more Cherokee are piling in. Some have even gone through. The. Um, Colored infantry are holding them back right now, though, so that's good. We've got the minute men doing their part, and we're gonna have to move some infantry over here to kind of envelop the enemy. We're gonna put good old Washington behind there. The canister is hitting in the back. I don't dare aim it any closer at the risk of friendly fire. So we're we're firing right here where you can see there's a lot of dead Cherokee. I think we're going to order the other um, colored infantry to, uh, to fix bayonet as well. French Marines will... Marine uh, Cavalry will charge down these and then see if they can get the Cherokee tribesmen and then the French can come in from the back and attack there. I don't want friendly fire so I'm not going to open fire just yet it's the risk of us shooting some of our uh, colored infantry. They're doing quite well. They're not doing heroic work. It's a bit easier for um, the um, Minutemen over there to actually aid. And then we're gonna do like that. We're gonna have Washington over there. And we've got one of the Connecticut units have come back. And another one was completely destroyed. We completely missed this, but the French Hussars row these guys down and kill a hundred of them, only losing one of their own. So they row down the bowmen, losing one of their own in the process, while killing tons of enemies. Lafayette is setting up his cannon, which now when I think about it, is actually kind of... He sh probably should have waited. So we're going to hold fire and wait for him to... Uh, to redo that. Right. They're pulling off some of the Cherokee. And I kind of haphazardly ran into that Cherokee tribesman unit. The bo chief's bodyguard is over there. The French gonna deploy in line over there. And since there's tons of them coming from that way, we're gonna deploy in line over there. And hopefully these Cherokee tribesmen are being cut down by my Hussars and the 2nd Regiment. There's a bit of kind of impassable terrain here that the French can hide behind. Seems fine. Lafayette, I want you back there. The Hussars move there, then there, then there to move into the flank. See if I can pull up the French cannons. At the same time, it looks as though the enemy has broken through. 
They broke through the colored infantry and they are in full retreat. Also, a number of other continental troops that we have that broke through. But I wonder if they're not really tired at this point. And now when I open up with all troops around and we've got the French turning up in the back, uh, in, it might be that the Cherokee decides that is enough, is enough. Right, the French Grenadiers and uh, the infantry are opening fire towards the rear guard of the Cherokee. I'm gonna get my uh, French Assaults to set up here. These two are rather quickly sent away. I'm gonna order these two forward. We want the um, cavalry moving forward with them. Oh, they're... they're th no, they I thought they were throwing uh, tomahawks, but they're uh, bowmen, so they're firing arrows towards the French troop. Warrior Society is coming in. Let's see. Let's try not to get uh, Lafayette killed there. The Grenadiers will continue, and Lafayette will oversee his troops' movements from that high ground over there. The Americans are holding on, but they could really use some aid from the French. So we need to push through this. Right, we have. The French should move with all haste against the enemy. No, did I? God damn it. When I clicked attack, I think we uh, told the cannon to uh, limber, or unlimber rather. The French troops are closing in. Okay, we're gonna have to tell the cannons to fire at will wherever they can. There's two American line units left. Washington's gonna move over here and help th these guys out. French Grenadiers will fix bayonets. And then move in, charge the, uh, the Cherokee. French General. Ooh, that's nasty. Shoot them down with canister, if you please. Do not move into melee. Instead, I want you to open fire and uh, help your friendly regiment there. The French Grenadiers are doing okay right now, I think. Same with the uh, the French Hussars. They've sent off kind of the enemy general, and it looks like. The Americans kind of held their ground. Washington is going to go down there together with the Minutemen. See if he can save his cannon. The Continentals saw that... Uh, did you see that? They moved directly from retreating back into charging. As soon as they saw Washington was moving in. And he's gonna retake the cannons. Lafayette is right over there. Um, kind of the enemy is kind of killed off over here. I'm gonna move the Grenadiers back. I'm also gonna move the Hussars back because they've lost too many men. And uh, if I can get the canister of the French guns to obliterate this native unit, that would be nice. But instead they decide to fire into the ground. Not so nice. One French unit is moving back, unfortunately. We did it. The, uh, we sent the natives off. We're holding... The Americans have retaken their position. 
Unfortunately, it looks like Washington did lose his cannon crew, so they're not coming back. The French guns are being charged by the enemy general. We have... Oh, I've, it looked like it was a single soldier there. This regiment needs to reorganize itself. You know what? Form square. Grenadiers attack. And then this line needs to face that way. French Grenadiers charge in. Hopefully they'll be able to get the Warrior Society. The square will hopefully hold. And so will this regiment. As, you know what, those bloody bowmen. I'll charge in with Lafayette. He'll charge in with his hussars. This small French regiment is back and will push them back into the fight. Enemy general, CPU-1, um, the uh, chief robot protocol, has died at the hands of, I was about to say the French Grenadiers, but it's the Lassun's Lassun regiment. The French Grenadiers were overtaken, apparently, by the Cherokee Warrior Society. Form square and fix bayonet. And you guys will also fix bayonet. Right, have Lafayette and the Hussars charging. This regiment will move to aid over here shoot the enemy down over there at the same time there's a charge over here as this I set this to be early that's why they're not firing by rank and it also was meant to give uh, the natives a bit more of a chance um, I think this regiment oh they have already fixed bayonets although I cannot I cannot see it on this guy but I can see it on a few of these Lafayette is in there with his French soldiers and looks like the enemy's bodyguard was completely taken down so it's down to that uh, warrior society which is now killed off and now the French have been able to see off the natives here as well and there we are victory but it was a very costly one not a lot of troops survived on our side certainly not on the enemy side either if I had combined the forces to move over at the same spot it probably would have gone better but then again that wouldn't be have been so much of a challenge The important part is that I won, and I should say here that when I was uh, going through the uh, the mod a little bit or custom battles, I noticed there was a lot of other nations that had uh, custom units. A uh, number of them that you wouldn't really think would be um, even necessary to mod for this mod, since it's only supposed to be in America. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do some other ones of these battles that first off it's going to be the ones to um, more closely look through um, the other armies of the mod. So see if I can go in as a complete 100% French army and a Spanish one and so forth. And then once that's done, then I might check out the Prussians, the Russians, and a few other European ones that are actually uh, part of the mod. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this extra video showing how Washington defeated the Cherokee. And yeah, with that, uh, I say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully... I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.